that time in connection with our publications. And we will turn. Goswami are in the books of 
Srila Bhakti Guruddha, especially in Jaiva Dharma. Jaiva Dharma is the last book of Srila Bhakti Guruddha. So he has taken all the essence in a very little part, whole ocean of bhakti has been given in very little part, he has tried. And it is not so very hard to go through them. So, I think that it will be proper for you all that if you want to realize the writings of your Prabhupada, Bhakti Vedanta, Swami Maharaj, and Jiva Goswami and all others, first we should try to go through Jaiva Dharma. Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur has translated and he has explained explanations, Vashya of all the books of Goswami. So when I joined Math, Guru Maharaj by kindly suggest, suggested me to read first Jaiva Dharma. Now what I am telling only by the mercy of Bhakti Vinod Thakur so Jaiva Dharma. And then I read Srimad Bhagavatam, Shatsam Darbha, all the books come. Govinda Bhashya and all the books of all Goswamis. So, very easy the books of Srila Bhagavad So, in modern class, I will try to give some essence of the literatures and all kinds of established truth in modern class. The process has explained two kinds of process. One taking and other giving them. Those who are favorable, we should accept. And those who are unfavorable, we should give up. So in the teachings of Upadeshamrita by Guru first he has told that what, should, what are unfavorable, they should be given. And what is favorable, we should accept. Now I am coming in the sweet past tense of Krishna. I think that these are more powerful. More, more, more powerful. If anyone has pure shraddha, transcendental faith, and with that faith, anyone is hearing so, with so honor, and so strong belief this Harikatha. For from a powerful devotee who is Vokya uh, Niragi Bhakta. From Niragi Bhakta. There are two kinds of Bhakta. Bhakta means Niragi and Saragi. Saragi is those who have some worldly desires to fulfill, some attachment in world. And by Harikatha, they want to test all these things. They are Saragi. If anyone hearing their Harikatha, momentarily there will come something. But it will not be steady, it will go away. But those who are Niragi having no attraction to what they desires to taste all these things. And having some realization and his perfecting all Shastra, Prabrahmani Vishnu, and Prabrahma, and also in Sabda Brahma. Sabda Brahma is Srimad Bhagavat Krishna. And Parabrahma always engaging himself, observing himself in chanting, remembering, thinking, like this. Then he is Nirāna Bhakta. 
लाइक सुखदेव गोस्वामी परीक्षित महाराज लाइक कदाकर पंडित लाइक आदर्श भक्ति विनोद ठाकुर निराग भक्त देन देर विल बी नो चांस ऑफ फॉल नेवर तो हरि कथा विल कम थ्रो अवर ईयर्स प्योर ईयर्स and it will be in the shape of krishna himself and then he will clear our heart and he will make himself a seed very good seed there yeah. and then we will realize so before beginning our shri bhagavat sweet hari We will have to do prayer to Shila Sukadev Goswami. Yang Prabhajan Tamanupe Tamabe Tadutyam Dvai Pahayam Virahakatara Ajha Putreti Tan Maya Tarvobhinedu Tan Vyasthu Once uh, all the pure dresses and good <coughs> assembled in Namishara. Kali was coming. It, Krishna has left this world with his all associates in Braja, Dwarka and all. So all Kali was coming. So all were very fearful. What to do? Time will come very hard. What should we do? And the implement time, Sudh Goswami came there and he became Vyas to tell Harikathas. Shauna can about 88,000 of Rishi in Noni all at that assembled. And they asked, especially for the human beings in Kali, these two, when all will quarrel among for worldly things, so many wars will go away. The human being, even male and female, will give up their religion and anything. All will be engaged in worldly matters, matting and all other things. How should we do? What we should do? Kaise hamara kalyan hoga shreya? Yes, sir. Tell me. How we will do? Then we did. Then we did this pranam and began shreya. Yang Prabhrajan Tamanupe Tamabe Takrityam I am doing Namaskar to my Gurudev, to Srila Sukhde Goswami, who is all pervading. He is in atoms everywhere, because Krishna is there, Radha Srimati Radhika Kanjibhul Sa, everywhere, on all atoms. Atoms, trees and creepers, even human body, everywhere they are, there is no place where he, they are. No. So to serve their, this conjugal, all the bona fide gurus are there. All bona fide gurus. In Baladev or Nityananda, always there. Krishna without Baladev Prabhu never exist anywhere. So our Guru must be there. So Sudh Goswami is telling that my Guru there is all for waiting, everywhere, serving his conjugates. So don't see that our Guru there is died, dead. He never dies. If he is bona fide Guru, 
Never mind. No question. So he is doing pranam. That you are everywhere. Inspiring Krishna Bhakti in all. I know that. When you took birth, no ceremony was there. Not cutting off their no jat karma was there, pati jat karma. It's not a purification process. And we need to go cutting the end of the cord. Yeah. And clearing and taking bath and all these things. So many cows giving donation and all these things. There was no shame. And our at once he quickly left that place. And then his father Vyas began to cry, Ocean, where you are, where you are going, Ocean, Ocean. And all the trees in Oko replied, Oh, who is son? Who is father? Who is mother? Who is son? Who is sister? Valli mohe vahi kāyam. Valli attachment is the cause, root of all these things. Why you are calling next? So trees are replying in echo. Who is this Sukhdev Goswami? Who is telling so sweet? Even Narada is present there. Even Vyasdev is there. Parashar is there. All are there in the council of Parikshit Maharaj. But all requested Sukhdev Goswami who was naked. Why they So we should know that who is, who was Shukadeva Goswami. He was the parent of Srimati Radhika. Srimati Radhika always used to keep this parrot with her. Everywhere. She has a golden case, sometimes out of case, sometimes in case. And sweetly carousing. Carousing. And he just tell, oh, you should repeat me. Krishna, 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 Krishna. And the parrot in the same voice, so sweet voice of Srimati Radhika. They are totally following him. If you, in our village, there was a person who kept a parrot. And sometimes he used to go to his house, home. Oh. On head, on head, who are you? Who are you? Stop it. Nonsense, nonsense. Go away, go away. <laughs> Sometimes. And he used to say, Oh, who is taking? <laughs> and in the voice of his master. <laughs> oh, he then he felt hidden and telling like this. But after some, oh, you, you better this parrot is taking. And somewhere these parrots like Ram, 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 Ram. Radha Krishna, Radha Krishna, like this. In a very sweet voice. It depends on the master who teaches them. <laughs> so, this parrot was with Srimati and she was giving him her uh, pomo, pomegranate seeds, reddish, like pearls. And sometimes he used to give. Milk and very long rice, Vashmati chow, very sweet, very taste. And he used to take and to follow Srimati Radhika. Krishna, Krishna, in same sweet voice of Radhika. Anyone cannot distinguish whether Srimati Radhika is telling, uh, uttering or he is uttering. One day she was doing so and he was repeating Krishna, Krishna. But he flew from the palms of Srimati Radhika. Very near Nandana. Both each other. Eh? Only there is difference of Two fingers. The border of Nandagama and border of Parshana. Plenty of 
so much uh, um, Kadamba trees in Nandagao and plenty of Tamal Krishna in uh, in no Barshan Tamal in Barshan and some Kadamba trees there. But it may be some Tamal trees in Nandagao and some being um, Barshana Kadamba but very little bit. We have seen in Nandagao about thousand and thousand of Kadamba trees, Kadamba Khandi there. Kadamba tree also where? Kadamba tree where? Krishna used to take his fruit and climb on the top of that tree and he used to tell Oh, Shyamali, Gauri, Kalindi, calling all the gods and sometimes in the midnight Oh Radhike, Oh Lalite, Oh Vishakhe, Oh like this is called. This is called Kadamba Tree. So everywhere. It's still now but so many are have expired in the separation of Krishna and Radhika. So that parrot came in Nandagam and sat on the branches of any tree, Tamal tree, because they like Tamal tree, because Srimati Radhika likes Tamal tree. And the color of both are like same and began to speak, utter Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. And Madhu Bangal was at that time play with Krishna. So Krishna then heard that oh, from where Radhika came. And he began to search Radhika very Radhika and calling me the Krishna, Krishna. But he could not see. Then he saw on the tree bunch that oh, very beautiful parrot with reddish nose. nose. And be, 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 very beautiful and, and he saw then he began to utter Krishna Krishna and after some moment he began to tell I am so unworthy so unworthy and akritabhya ungrateful by nature because we are birds I was Sitting on the palm of Srimati Radhika. Always the door sitting, giving name and sweet of ices. And so much loving, 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 always. But I am so ungrateful creature that I left Srimati Radhika. And coming here, fire on me. Saw that, oh, she is lamenting. Uh, he is so much lamenting. He told that, come on, come on, in sweet voice, my dear parrot, come on, come on, come on. And seeing this, he at once came on the hands of palms of Krishna. He began to curse, curse, yeah, curse. Yes. and tell that, oh, so. Please tell what you are uttering. Then she began to talk. Oh Krishna, Krishna. I am so ungrateful creature. I am so And you should repeat this time to time to me. 
I want to play with you. I want to also give rice and sweet and pomegranate. Shares pomegranate. On Arvana. And you should be with me. When they were telling me, <coughs> doing, loving their parrot, at once two sakhis came, Lalta and Bishaka. They were so much worried for that parrot. They went to Krishna and told, Oh my dear Kanayyan, this parrot is of Radhika, true. Its name is like Vichakshan. Uh, Vichakshan. And he is very sweet to Radhika. This parrot is life and soul of Radhika. If you are taking this and keeping with you, she may die. So please that one keep this parrot. I will, we will take it and leave. And she is so worried for this. He told Krishna replied that if it is your suk and your Srimati is suk, then you can call and if he is going easily to you, you can take it at once. They try so much that, oh parrot, come on, come on, Srimati is calling you, but he was very peaceful in the hands of And sometimes calling Krishna, Krishna. Krishna that told that, it seems that this parrot is not your Srimati. It is mine. So you can call and if he is going, no harm. But I will not give you in any case. He may go. They tried hard but fell. They entered in the council of Srimati Yasuda Devi and told, Oh Mother, Yasuda. And they do pranam. Yasuda told that, Oh, you seem very worried. Why you are so worried? They began to tell all the history that the parrot of Srimati Radhika has come here flying and it is playing with, uh, Krishna is playing with him and he is not giving us. So Radhika may die for this. She is so worried. She has left his uh, food and taken water everything. So it must come to us so that we can be returned to Srimati Radhika. Then Srimati, Yashoda told that, Oh my daughters, you should wait a little. Don't worry. And he at once went to Krishna and Madhamanga. And they were playing with that, Oh, you should repeat what you are telling and hearing and getting something to eat. In the end, Yashoda came at once and took the bird very falsely. What you are doing? And to stoop the ear of Krishna twisting, oh Nand Baba is waiting for you to take Mahaprasadam and you are here with birds and so many animals and you want to be animal and birds, oh, this will come and he took the hands of Krishna, uh, taking Krishna for every and what Mangal was telling, like she, seeing what is happening. At once she came and he seated here and he came in the room where two girls were waiting and she oh, take it. And at once he used to go to that and they returned. So you can think that how and who was this Shuk? But how he became in the shape of a man, this pair. You know that all the birds, all the serpents, all the animals, deers, everything of Krishna Lok are transcendental. All are transcendental. It has been written by Silaravnath Das Goswami, Jatkin Chetter Nigolmaki Katamukam Goste Shavastam Hitat. Sarvananda Mukunda Daitang Lila Nagulam Param Shastra Rilukur Mur Nishtan Kitan Yanchaya Brahma Deer Vishasti Hantato Sarvam Mayai Dham Bandati Ravnath Dhat Goswami doing Pandana to all 
creepers, all trees, all the animals, even to a scorpion, even to snakes and all. Why? Oh, you are all associate, transcendental associate of Krishna. You can give Krishna please and Krishna bhakti, pure bhakti. So I am praying to you all. How a snake serves Srimati Radhika and Krishna Kanjuga? Once Srimati Radhika was in anger and he was ready to go from Krishna to his Radha Kunda from anywhere in Govardhan. And he was quickly going, returning. And Krishna was so much worried for that. He wanted to um, stop Radhika, not to go in. But she was um, very strong, strongly in mood to not to be with Krishna. So when she was going uh, to three, four, four yes. steps, he saw that there was a very poisonous snake. And when he saw Srimati Radhika, and from other side he could, oh, foam, foam. Raising his horse and he was hissing. Oh, Srimati Radhika was so much afraid. And telling, oh, Krishna, Krishna. And he ran and he, no, he fell in the lap of Krishna. Krishna was fell. He could not know. But this serpent made Srimati Radhika to again meet with. So Lidana Kuram, so helpful for all these things. To if snakes and scorpions and all others are helping in Krishna and Radhika serving anyhow. So what we speak others? So all are transcendental in Vrindavan. We should have eyes to see this. So Sukadeva Goswami was so parallel of Srimati Radhika. When Krishna past times were uh, samapta uh, completed and he began to return to Guru Vinda with his all essence. Then Srimati and Radhika told, ordered this pharaoh that you should be in world. World needs you because when you will return to Golopindavan, there will be none to save this world by Hari Katha. So you should be in this world and to save this world by Hari Katha. He began to feel very both jokes are only. How I can be without you, conjugal? I cannot be in this world. <coughs> but they told me, we will get, empower you to be here and to speak Harikatha if you were in this world. And if, after your work will be finished, you can come there. So, they returned to Golok Vindavan and parrot was here. He was flying here and there, looking that where Harikatha is going. Without Harikatha he cannot be. So if there is anywhere he was searching the places, he went in chaos. And where Shankar was telling some this Harikatha, Bhagavad Katha, how Krishna came to this world. And he was explaining to his wife, Parvati Devi. From beginning he was, she was hearing. And there on the, on a branch of, of a tree, hiding himself, this parrot was there, here, Harikatha. When in Srimad Bhagavat in third canto, he was explaining how creation was done, how all kinds of things were made and other things. No interest, she being a lady, devotee, she slept. <laughs> but that parrot was very careful. He began to 
do, hmm, hmm, what more, what more, very good, very good, go on, go on. Like in the mood of, in the voice like Parvati. And Shankar saw that, oh, Parvati is hearing everything and he went on to. But when tenth canto was completed, and again, twelve and eleventh and twelve came. She walked and told, Oh, I am I was sleeping. I could not hear all these things. I want that. I request you to tell again. <laughs> then Sankar told that uh, I told all these things in vain. But uh, I saw that you are doing hmm, hmm, go on, go on. Very good, very good. Who is doing so? And I have not heard all these things. So he began to do that who has such that who was doing like this? Like Parvati's voice. And he saw that in the branch of a very green tree, a radish having a radish, and there was a very good, a very beautiful one. He took his finger and began to fall. I will kill this bird. <laughs> because being a unqualified person and being a in Gita, Arun Srimad Bhagavad Krishna has told to Arjun in Gita that you should not tell this Srimad Bhagavad Gita to any un unqualified person. If you are telling that you will have felt some, so much offenses. So you should not. It will go without any fraud. So if you are telling all these things to any unqualified person, those who have no honor, you should not tell. So Srimad Bhagavad should not be told. But he, he is like a bird and he has heard, so I should kill. Otherwise he will be imitation guru and then it will be making so many yeah, offenses and problems and he will cheat others. So he wanted to kill. But at once that bird flew away and very nearer he came to Badrikashram. Though by, by air going only four five miles. But now by bus or in vehicle or by on foot, we, it will take one month going there so long distance. So in a moment he flew and Sankar took his dragon and began to follow. He was not so much ordinary uh, person. He also walked in the sky and he began to flow and he followed. And then in time that arrow came in the ashram cottage of Bhyasthir, where Bhyasthir was explaining Srimad Bhagavad same to his wife, Bhitika Devi. And she was hearing all these things like very careful. That it is like a nectar I am taking. So his mouth was some open. And at once that bird can enter in, in his own. But there was no uh, pain or anything. And he heard for 16 years or 12, some no harm, 12 years or 16. I think that the Bhagavad is in divided in twelve, so twelve years he heard. And after that Pyas they told him, Oh who you are in the home of your mother? Now your mother is feeling some pain. Oh. Then she came, Shankar came and told. Uh, I am searching there. Bhyas they told. He did pranam to Shankar and Shankar did pranam to 
reciprocal. And then perhaps they told, what you are searching? Oh, have you seen any parrot coming here? Yes, yes, I have seen. But why you are searching? I want to kill that bird. Why? Because he has heard Srimad Bhagavatam being unqualified. So I want to kill. Then become, where they began to love. Oh, you, you know what is the result of hearing Srimad Bhagavatam? Yes, I know. What? He becomes Ajar Amar. Immortal. Then if he has become immortal, how you can kill him? In that part. You cannot kill. And he began to love. Then Sankar realized his whole mistake. And then he also began to love. And then he returned. Oh, Krishna has arranged anything. So, nothing to do. After that, after 20, um, 12 years, Vyasadeva requested that who are you in the home of your mother? How you are giving pain? You should come out of me. The boy in home told, I am so, but I cannot come. I can come in this same moment when any powerful person will uh, take away this maya from this world. And that moment I can come. He told that I am powerful, I can do like this. I am taking whole maya from here. You should just come. He told that no, I have no faith. If Krishna will come and tell that, then I can come. At once, they asked him, remembered Krishna and Krishna came there. Then Krishna told, Oh, parrot, you should come down from your mother. Om. You told them, who are you? I am Krishna. Oh, my namaskar to you. What you want? You should come out. He told that I can come only then you will take this maya from this world. What is this maya? Ma ya. There are two letters in this word. Ma means no. Ya means Ya yeah, means what? You are realizing in this world. What you are thinking that I am this body, you are not this body. You are thinking that they are your father, mother, sister and all other things. And all belongs to you, wealth and animals and all the things. But your attachment to you with them, it is So, ma, ya. Don't believe in this. So, by the illusory power of whose maya is going on like this, that I am this body, these are minds, this is called maya. One fraction, one minute. What? Prakash? Manifestation of yoga maya. This is ma. So if you will take Mahamaya, then I will come. He told, yes, you can come very quickly. I am giving time that in a very short, short, if some linseed sheets are given, and they cannot be there for a second. I am giving time, and so you should come out. So Krishna did that. At once came and run. Began to run. And Sukadeva was him. Yes, they Oh, he is out of Maya. He is transcendental. He is really qualified to hear Srimad Bhagavad that I have seen in my trance. So I want that this voice should be, this voice should study Srimad Bhagavatam with me. And then he should. Preach everywhere in this world, Bhagavad Katha, by which all the by which whole world can be liberated, and they will have bhakti, and thus Srimad Bhagavad will be preached in the whole world. Then, that thinking this, 
Oh my son, oh my son. He was born. This will be one good. She should, you should pay something to Make a big face. And if you are not doing that, I will see that you have not married her.
सी दैट यो तुम्हारा राग कट न जाए ताल कट जाता है थोड़ा सा और बाकी बहुत सुंदर वेरी गुड ये सुर लड़ दैट ये कभी राग टूट न जाए बेताल और सब ठीक बहुत सुंदर इसको फिर से कल से अभ्यास करना एक जगह दूसरी जगह का Then, Vyasa was following. Why not he was that type to his son? Because he wanted to initiate that war, and to through him he wanted to preach Shrimad Bhagavatam. Shrimad Bhagavatam is so high class of. It is the essence of whole Ved, Upanishad, Puran, Shastra, Mahabharat, Ramayana, and everything. Which is in Bhagavad is not in anywhere. And anywhere it is anything, it is must be in Shrimad Bhagavad. Nigam kalpataro organitang phalam shukamukha damrita dravasaita pivata bhagavatam rasamalayam mohot abhurimah We will explain it after but but I am going to. So Srimad Bhagavat is like essence of all Srimad, Ved and Upanishad. Gita is only essence of Upanishads, Sarva Upanishad of cow. That all the Upanishads are like cow and milk is Srimad Bhagavat, uh, Gita. And Krishna is milkman and bus, coffee is Arjuna. And it is not for only Arjuna for the whole world. That means. But Srimad Bhagavat is the essence of all the Vedas, including Mahabharata, Gita, and all the essence of all. Gita is not a Russia, but Srimad Bhagavat is a Russia. Nigam, Kalpa, Tor, Galitam, a Russian. Vedas are like tree. The Russia is there, but we cannot taste. If you are choosing, choosing, okay, talking the root of trees of mango, you are shocking branches, you are shocking uh, flowers, you cannot. If you are taking fruits of mangoes, green, not mature. Rush will not come. Pen will be ripened. And any parrot will smell and give it touch by the mouth. Or not all. It should be ripened so much. Then itself coming from its branch. Even in touch of air or without, then it will be ripened. It will come. Then it will be so and we can taste. So, we cannot take it, this rush from the trees like Kalpa Briksha, Vedas, Upanishadas, Puran, even to Gita, that rush will not come. When it will come in the shape of Srimad Bhagavatam, and especially by the mouth of Sukade Goswami, who was he? He was associates of Radhika and Krishna. So, it will be more sweeter. So, Sukhade Goswami, he thought that Sukhade Goswami is so qualified person in this whole world. I should make him study Srimad Bhagavatam. He should hear. And I am not uh, searching anyone in this world who is qualified to study Srimad Bhagavatam. So he was doing that. Ocean, ocean, ocean. But trees were egg. When he went some distance, some very beautiful Gandhars, wives of Gandhar, they were playing in the water, any pond, good pond. So many lotus were there, so fragrant air was blowing. And they were naked and they were playing to each other, doing water like this. And in the meantime, Sukhade Goswami passed. 
They are never looked after. They were pain. But when they are there, being aged so much, two, three hundred years, three hundred become so old, so much white beard and long ears with also white and he was fallen. Then they became some ashamed, they came out of pond, they took their garments and they on the hide hidden in any tree, say, and they were doing pranam to Vyas. Vyas they came nearer to them and asked, my dear, daughters, daughters, daughters. Why you are sent with me? I am so much old. And my son, his age is like twelve, he is naked, and he is going, you have no ashamed for her, he, and now, why you are ashamed? You can come in my laps, like father and mother, more than that, and you are ashamed with me. They told me that your son being at the age of twelve, he was nothing to ask with us. That who are you? You are uh, wood, wood or stone or anything. And he was in trance like that. And he was gone. And you saw that we are girls. And you are coming to me and asking why. So you have sensed that we are ladies and you are male and we are female. So you have some. What is same, he does, never knows that. What is same? Hmm? Like this cloth, his body is there. Nothing to cover. This body is also like cover. So what is the use of cover to cover? So he is going, and we have no shame. But now, look at you. Oh, you are saying that you are you were naked. And after that you became covered your this body. That is why. <clears throat> but Sukhde Goswami went in this very deep forest. Like birds he are in there. Next day Vyas wanted to suck that poem and to bring it. So he took one poem of Srimad Bhagavatam and to gave it to the hunters that you should go and this is a very powerful mantra. If you will chant this mantra in forest, all kinds of birds and what you want, all will be collected very easily. So you should go. And even, and they began to, to shout this mantra. Varaha pildam nataparvapu karnayu karnikaram vipratabhasa kanakkapisham vajayanti this is the best slope for the being of Krishna. Krishna is going with legs and legs cows, with legs and legs covered boys like Dham, Sidam, Sidam, Pasudam, Sto, Krishna, Madhumangal, Shuval and all others, Arjun, Ujjwal, playing them with them and shouting sometimes. Cows like dhiri dhiri means slowly slowly they are taking, not running here. Tiri tiri, oh you want to take water? Tiri tiri tiri, come on. And in the bank of this pond, in the Jamuna. Niri niri means oh you should take water. Choo 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 choo. And drinking, drinking, drinking like this. Like all boys are clapping sometimes and dancing with Krishna. They are going one forest to another. Krishna, these clothes are like very lightning. And his body is like Meghashyam. Meghashyam means new cloth. Not black. So much beautiful. Krishna is most beautiful, not black, but love and new clothes, taking full of so much water there, as if water is going to come. Sorry. And 
Panmala is there. Uh, Panmala means five or seven class of wild flowers. And some Tulsi Manjari is there. And we are hammering on these. I mean, and uh, all the poems are Kanaya, 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 Jai Kanaya, Lagre doing this. And thus Krishna is going. And some food friends are there. And in fruit friends are, there are 19 kinds of symptoms. Bajra, Bhaja, Ankush, Pataka and so on. Everything is there. So he is doing now. This. Also Brahma is doing. Nomidyati Abrabhapushi Talitam Varaya Munjavatan Saparipachal Sanmukhaya Sanmukhaya Bhatt Bhattala Vaita Vetra Vishan Vedu Lakshmashriye Midupate Pasupangayaya So, but this slogan is most powerful. Hearing this, he came at once. From where you learned this slogan? Oh my Gurudev has. And so many birds came in their name. Then they become so happy and he told that, I want to meet your Gurudev, but what is the quality? This is the shape of beauty of Krishna. But how merciful he is, I want to know. Then he went to Vyasa and we were very happy that so many birds has come in their name. And they told that a very beautiful boy came to us naked and he told that if that Krishna is so beautiful, what are these qualities? Then he told that you should read this slow and so many birds again will come. Then he told, Aho bhakiyam stanakala kutam jighan Oh, you want to hear? So you should repeat this in the forest. forest. That Aho Bhakti in Stanakal Bhutam, Aho Bhakti, the sister of Bak Bakasu, that is Putana. He took so much strong poison in his heart, breast, and came in, came in the shape of very dirty mother, and he wanted to kill Krishna. He took at once Krishna in his other lap and gave breast forcibly in the mouth of Krishna. And Krishna shot that poison with her life. And he left his body and she went to die. But Krishna was so merciful that he made her Atma so pure, so, so pure. And he gave the same mother position mother. like mother. And she at once went to Golod Vrindavan, Golod. And there she became eternal like mother, Dhatri Gati. Dhatri means sometimes giving. <coughs> bread, milk to Krishna. So, Krishna is how merciful? So, in this world, those who, are, who have some intelligence, they should surely <coughs> do bhajan of Krishna. Those who are not serving and having no devotional service to Krishna, actually they are like uh, a donkey, without any horn. And their leg, their tail is also cutting. Tailless. Tailless and hornless. Mm -hmm. Especially that two legs have been cutting. So these first, all are like dandies. Those who are not serving, uttering the name of Krishna, singing them. Then he heard at once he came. And he came to pass Told I want to read, I study whole Srimad Bhagavatam. And he studied there. And now he is praying to Vyasadeva. I was in the way of 
निर्विशेष ब्रह्म नारिगुण ने अपनी परिनिष्ठिता आई सो मच फिक्स माई इंटेलिजेंस इन निर्विशेष ब्रह्म बट दिस निर्विशेष ब्रह्म इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम शंकर ब्रह्म शंकर संप्रदाय शंकर संप्रदाय आर ऑफेंडर बट ही वॉज नॉट His Brahma has was nirvishesh, no akar, no shape, but so much uh, qualities. His Brahma is so merciful, but Shankar's nothing, having no shape, no attribute, no power, nothing. Like a zero of both, so much different. And he began to study, and after that he became so. Learned and so sweet, knowing all the rasas, and then he came in the council of Parikshit Maharaj, and he was uttering Shrimad Bhagavatam. Go, Praman. Panchatattva, and then.